um it's for you at home wherever you are to decide uh which which of which of these uh two informations or which which of these ones makes sense to you um uh, just we are bringing this show unto you just to for you to 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 be educated and to know or, or what is it's there outside in the world so right now i'm just gonna give them um the last few minutes i'm just gonna give them two minutes two minutes just for 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 him to come back and 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 ask maybe if he had some questions concerning what uh, about about what um the dj said and i'll also give dj his opportunity also to question uh the pastor um concerning um what he also said thank you so much that was so scholastic and it it sound mm. so uh, I'll, I'll start um from the maths part of it mm. you see whereby you said even a small child knows that a uh, one plus one plus one is equal to three and then forgetting that there's one times one times one is equal to one or oh, should, 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 should i repeat i don't know no, I've, 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 got, I've got you but you see in english we have what we call and god the father god is is and 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 is not times Okay, we're gonna come back. I was just making you an, an example that right. a small child can small child, understand yeah. that one times one times one times one is equal to one, and then but I'm not there, I'm just making an example yeah. that it's possible that you can have um, three characters but where they whereby they equal one, but we're not there for now. So now you look about a uh, God being a man that is the mystical part of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ um, was 100% man, 100% God. That the, that's the mystical part. That's whereby there's a global debate because it was long prophesied by all the prophets, Abu Isaiah, Abu Moses, Abu Abraham, even Abraham. So Christ Jesus, if you read in the book of Hebrews chapter 11, chapter 11, verses number one, you will find even Moses, he, 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 he chose to go and suffer with the Israelites because of what he saw. He saw him who is unseen, of which is Christ Jesus. And then now we talk about, when we talk about incarnation, the incarnation whereby God himself came down and became a man. He took a form of a man. Even if you, you, you read in the book of um, Philippians chapter 2, that's whereby Paul um, unpacks it that Jesus Christ was God himself. But he never saw it as something you would imagine, but he, he even lowered himself even above, even below a, a servant, a slave, because of his humbleness. And for that reason, he was exalted. And then when you read in the book of um, Revelations, chapter 2, now Jesus Christ is being revealed, the, the character of, of, of Jesus Christ. Revelation chapter, chapter 2, if you start from verses number eight he, he introduces himself to the ephesian church he introduced himself to the seven churches of asia minor whereby now he unpacks he, he shows that i am god you see he, he says i am the one who's holding the golden the, the seven golden golden stands lamb stands in my hand and the stars you see and then he also says i am the one who holds the key of david if you read in the book of, of, of Isaiah 46, verses number 6, you find Jesus Christ himself saying, I am the Alpha and the Omega. When you read in the book of um, Revelation, I'm not going to quote because if you read um, Ephesians chapter 2 until you go to chapter 3, to these seven churches, all the introductions, verses number 1, verses number 8, and then you jump, verses number 12, and then all there you find him into to, to each to, to each church he reveals his character his godliness his full god power you see hence that's why i said i believe in the triune god because god has order as you have quoted that our god is a god of all of order he's the author of order even when when you read in the book of hebrews chapter one verses number one to three now everything that God created. He created everything through faith. And when, when you find now the character or, 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 or the, 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 yeah, the character of Jesus Christ, it will tell you that his, his, his full power, he is the author and the finisher of life. You see, even in verses, in chapter two, if you can read those ones when, 
I don't want to in, in I, I I don't want to impose my view. You see, I want you to go and sit and, and, and understand and read for yourself and then you check that whether what I'm saying it, it does it um resonate with you or not. So according to my own perspective, because I was given two minutes, then even whereby when you read, I want you to I, I want you to go and read. I don't want to spoon feed you. When when you read uh, when Jesus before his crucifixion the scribes and the Roman soldiers came to him. When they came to him, they wanted Jesus Christ, and then he said, I am. There's nobody who has the authority to say, I am. Only God can say, I am. And then they fell on the ground because now he revealed his character. And when you go to the Mount of Transfiguration, then Jesus Christ was, was transformed to his godliness, whereby Elijah and Moses appeared. Yeah, Elijah and Moses appeared, and then Peter spoke his own things that yeah, we, we need to build three t temples, tents here, yeah, one for Jesus, one for Moses, one for Elijah. You see, now it was showing that uh, Moses was representing the law, Elijah was representing the prophets, and then now Jesus Christ was representing the kingship, the king of kings, even when he was crucified, it was written, the king of the Jews, that's why he was killed for king of kings, even uh, Pontius Pilate, he said, I will not erase this. This is the king of the Jews. This is the king of kings. So I stand there. Now, in my whole conclusion, I would say God has order. In the Old Testament, Jesus Christ, it was not yet the time, the time of incarnation. It was prophesied that a virgin girl in Israel will give birth to God. Even um, Simeon, the prophet, he held him and then he said, I have held salvation and I, I i've received i saw salvation now lord you can take me everything that was prophesied it was prophesied uh, about jesus that is why the jews they did not have understanding that's why they had to kill him because they was looking for they, they were looking for a king like like, like david who will uh, pull together the israelites and then come in and in, in this um like army strategy to kill and all that but then he came in a humble form that is why it was difficult to, 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 to recognize Jesus because his kingdom was a kingdom of peace. He's the prince of peace. If you read in the Old Testament before he was revealed, he was Melchizedek. 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 Melech. You see, Melech is king. You see, Salem is righteousness. Salem is peace. The king of peace. Abraham himself. You see, so three angels in a form of people. We have cherubs. And then we have seraphims, those are two types of angels. These cherubs, they come in a form of human beings. God can, can, can reveal himself in a form of a human being. So now, uh, Abraham saw three angels, three people, three guests. In this guest, they were representing the, 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 the Trinity. It's a representation. You see, now, before I go there, uh, Abraham, uh, after coming from conquering the five kings, he, he went to Melchizedek. If you read in the book of Hebrews chapter 7, it records that Melchizedek had no trace of genealogy. He had no father, he had no mother, his existence was eternal, you see. And then when you can read with understanding and death revelation, you will find that it's connected to the Christ before his incarnation. And then now he went to Melchizedek after conquering the five kings, who, who Abraham, and then he offered his tenth, you see, and then King Melchizedek gave wine and bread. Jesus Christ, to his disciples, he, he offered wine. He said, drink this, the symbol of my blood that is going to be shed in the cross. And then he gave them bread to break the bread, that this is my body being shed unto you to bring us together, to, to unite each one of us. Where, where, where you, have, you, have, you have mentioned earlier on as Jesus being the, med, the mediator, God chose to, 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 to separate in a way to, to, to separate, you see, or to come down, you see, in a form of a human being, in order for us, just imagine if God came in his godliness, you cannot look at God and be alive, but he chose to, to, to incarnate, to come in a form of a human being so that we can accept him. When you remember the 70 elders, when say, they say to Moses, uh, near the, the, in the Mount of Sinai, they say, we want to speak to God. And then he, he elected 70 elders. And then they saw just a part of God. And then they say, no, we don't want to die. Go and speak to your God. They just saw his glory. So now, hence, Jesus Christ came in the form of a man. God came in the form 
of, 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 of a man to, 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 to be God among the people. When John the Apostle says, um, he, we saw him, we touched him, he dwelled amongst us, we, we, we call you to have fellowship with us because we know what we are preaching to you. We saw God in the form of a human being. John was always in his bosom. Then, thank you. I believe in the Trinity. Uh, yeah, you have just heard it, viewers, wherever you are. I hope you are enjoying this show wherever you are. Um, it's, it's getting hot here, and it, it, uh, we are getting so excited to, to hear the man of God unpacking this, this, uh, this thing. It's so wonderful to hear. I believe you are getting blessed wherever you are. So, Pastor Dumusane Masego is saying... Um, are boldly that Jesus Christ or the Trinity does exist. Jesus is the is God in the flesh. So the man of God, you've heard him himself saying that. Uh, uh, so right now, I'm just gonna give uh, the DJ also um, his, his time to ask maybe follow up questions and stuff like that before uh, we close our show for tonight. But I trust that you are listening attentively. And you are getting the word, you are getting blessed as the man of God was unpacking this thing. You know, it, it, it's so it's so wonderful. It's so wonderful to hear um, what the man of God just said. Thank you so much, man of God. Uh, DJ, you can you can take over, sir, and you, you are also allowed to, to ask questions. Uh, first thing first, uh, it touched on uh, the mathematical part. Yeah. Because you see, you say it's three. Mm. Three is a number. Try is from, derived from the word three. So therefore, you were talking. We were talking about one, one, one. It says equals to one, not one times one times one. So let's part. You can call a little child, uncle, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. How many gods have I, am I spoken about? Simple, three, three. You see. So therefore, he's saying to me, uh, Jesus Christ to come back to another part. Jesus Christ uh, to to be a man. That was mystical God. You see, God is, is talking to in the book of Numbers, chapter 20, 23, verse 19. But he says, Moses said, God is not a man that you can lie, not the son of man that you can repent. God is not a man. We read in the other prophets, says, God cannot change. So if God now changed from his God to be a man, God changed. In, in, in these books, we read that God cannot change. Even in the book of James, it says God cannot change. In the New Testament, God cannot change. We read there, we find Jesus Christ saying to his disciples or to his people, My father is greater than I. This is written there. He says, My father is greater than I. But another passage says, My father is greater than all. You see, so Jesus Christ is submitting to God. He had a God. My question was, show me a verse where Jesus Christ himself says, I am God. The pastor has never showed me a single verse. I gave you. What the pastor did was to quote who is saying, who is saying. So now we quoted the revelation. A man, Jesus Christ was walking here on earth for a period of three years. When he was walking here, he never teach the disciples uh, whatever Paul is teaching. Paul never met Jesus. He only spoke about vision. On that vision, Jesus never taught Paul any of the things that Paul is preaching. In chapter three, Jesus Christ. In chapter two, Revelation. Come, let, chapter three, I'm, 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 I'm coming. Like, I'm coming to, the, to that part. Mm -hmm. You see the writer of the Revelation of which is John. He was in the island called Patmos, yes. lying. He was not seeing the. Was he seeing the thing or he was dreaming? Was he dreaming or what did he saw the thing? Is that a question? Is a question. Was John dreaming or was John there seeing the things, eating all the scrolls that he dreamed eating? Was he dreaming or was he seeing the thing? Where was he? Was because John is reporting that someone gave him a book. Read the first verse of when, the Revelation. When, come with me. Come. The first verse of Revelation. This is the revelation of uh, Jesus from who? From who? Then to an angel, angel to the servant. So now he's dreaming. He was not there. He was not getting the revelation or the vision just like other uh, prophets. Is other that a question? It's a question. Or you are, you are, was it you dreaming? Imposing was it dreaming or was he was 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 was, was he in, in heaven hearing? Here's a words. rhetorical question. Have no, no, the ever... question, question is, was John, yeah. the writer, or the one who's reporting this book of Revelation, yeah. was he in heaven yeah. hearing those things, or was he dreaming? I'm, he, I'm, I'm answering you with a rhetorical question. Is there a difference between a vision and a dream? You see, a vision, if you can see it like this, God can appear. The prophecy appeared to them. They spoke, Isaiah says, the Jews understood that it is not Isaiah speaking, but it is God through the lips of Isaiah. It says, I am God, no one else, there is no one else. 
the Jews will have crucified Isaiah for people. They were like, oh, he came into the court, but said, I have, but they understood also in the lips, even in Moses, God appeared. He says, there is no prophet risen in Israel ever since who spoke to the Lord face to face. So he appeared. So God was appearing to the prophets because they are prophets. They have got this spiritual spirituality now god is saying i reply like this this is this is not go and tell this uh, uh, elijah wake up this and that you see i saw a, i saw a sheet this, this and that so there are visions and there is a dream one who's sleeping i can dream flying i can dream speaking to jesus to any i can dream speaking i can claim that i spoke to god most christians they claim they spoke to god but my question was was john the john was talking about jesus was here he walked to this air with these disciples did Jesus mention all those things? Oh, yes, in his time. Did he say the Alpha? Did he say Jesus? Did Jesus say I'm the Alpha and the Omega? Because that's Greek. Jesus was not speaking Greek. Alpha and Omega is not the beginning. It's, it says it's Alpha is an alphabet, just like A. Okay. Omega is the last alphabet in the Greek. You're asking many questions. No, no, no. I'm, 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 try, I'm trying to. You, you, have, you see, you have spoken and I was quiet. Oh, you see, you have spoken. I wait, because so, so, so I wanted questions. I wanted, I, wanted, I wanted to ask was John seeing these things or was it dreaming? John was taken into the Spirit by the Holy Spirit and then the Holy Spirit showed him everything. It was a revelation. These things was, were, were, were unpacked in a vision. All right. You see, when a man eats too much, you dream such things. You see, eyes full outside the body, inside the body. But Jesus was here on earth. In his lips, he said, my father is better than I. My father is better than all. I have asked you, show me a verse where Jesus says I'm God. You are quoting me Philippians. He said that, who is talking? Not Jesus. Jesus was here talking. You didn't even quote Jesus himself talking here on the walking. You were quoting someone sitting alone in an island. Then he started uh, writing uh, to, to, to different churches, of which I think seven churches. His message was from the seven churches. But Jesus was here. What did he say? Did he say, I am God? No. He never uttered, he never said, he never even in his own lips said, I am the son of God. He never said that. He kept on saying, the son of man, son of man. People are saying, son of God, son of God, but son of man. He never even claimed to be God. There is no single passage where Jesus Christ is claiming to be God. You have touched about Melchizedek. If you read, you go read carefully the Hebrews uh, 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 chapter 7. Paul is telling you that there is a lot that you can say about this Melchizedek, but because you are like children, so these are not things to be discussed. He's telling them, go read there. You see, so Melchizedek appears in Genesis, appears in Psalms chapter 10, chapter 110, where God, where, Jesus, where David is now saying, so a, a vision, the Lord said unto my Lord, sit on my right until I put your enemies under your footstool. For I will put you in an order, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a or, priesthood order, under the order of Melchizedek, under the order Can of I Melchizedek. Ask okay, ask quickly. Who is the Lord that is referring to, to, to the other Lord? The, who is the Lord that is refer, referring to the Lord? The Lord said to my Lord. Who is the I Lord? Who's, I don't know. Because can Jesus, I answer you? Jesus also asked that question. Nobody answered him. Answer me. Can I answer you? Answer me. Um, David saw a vision of God the Father. Did David say that? Let me tell you. No, no. Did David say that? I am going with you. But the David didn't say, now you are adding. I'm not adding. He said, the Lord said unto my Lord. That so is you asked me, who's the Lord? I said, I don't know. Mm. Then I said, even Jesus Christ answered that question. To Where? The people, Where? To, to, in the New Testament, he asked, well, how is it that the, the, the Messiah, the Christ, is a descendant of David? While David said himself, the Lord said, him, it's written in the New Testament. He asked them that question. So now you're asking me. I said, I'm saying I don't know. You said you can tell me. You said now. Now You're, you're cutting me when I'm No, no, no. Try. You are trying to explain. Um, you are supposed to tell me who's that Lord. Then it's Jesus. It. It's Jesus. Jesus. Right. How do you know that it's Jesus? You know, Peter revealed when um, the, the, the one that you have just um, said now. Now is Jesus a priest? Yes. And is a Jesus king. a prophet? Yes. Can God and be a, king. a prophet? And can, a king. can God be a prophet? Yes. He's the author of prophets. No, no. Can God be a prophet? Yes. Can God be a priest? Yes. Alright. Let me continue <laughs> with what I'm saying. You see, uh, we read the, in the book of uh, um, 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 Numbers. Uh, with regards to title of Lord, because most people think that Lord means God. The title of Lord, it says that uh, my Lord, Moses, is, is, I'll, I'll find a verse, I've read this thing long ago, uh, I've read it long ago, but it's, it's, a, it's a 28 verse of the New Testament of Numbers, of Numbers, where he says, my Lord, Moses, talk to God, he says that Moses addresses Lord, Abraham's addresses Lord, you see, so even David is addressed as Lord, even people who own land, they are called land Lord. 
even a king is called Lord. Even in the court, we've got what we call the Lord. You see, your worship. That doesn't mean those people are called. So then I'm saying, I don't know. My, I was not talking with regards to my Lord said to my Lord. I'm not there. That's a topic for another day. I was saying he was under the order of the priesthood of Melchizedek. Under, not his Melchizedek. He was under the order. I'm not talking about Melchizedek. It's a huge argument because they tell you that it's called no lineage, no trace, no this and that. We cannot argue based on that. Even Paul is saying it is not that you can say. With regards to this Melchizedek, you see, because such a person who has got uh, no, no, no beginning, no end, those qualities, they qualify God. You see, so now we move. Find Jesus was born. And I've asked you, can God be born? Like I told you, now, you don't understand the concept of no, incarnation. Uh, no, okay, before the incarnation part, you see, God, you said, he cannot be divided, he cannot divide himself. Uh, my question, can God be born? Yeah, that question. Okay, can God be circumcised? You yeah, said Jesus Christ is 100% God. Come with me. Yeah. Can God be born? Can God be born? Yes. No, he cannot be born. Jesus Christ was 100% God. Yes. When he was born. Yes. Can God be born? Yes. God can be born. Listen. No, you man. Know, it's don't, my time. Don't impose. It's, no, I'm asking questions. It's my time. On your time, you never ask me questions. You have tried to tell me about Moses, the Lord, this and that. We are talking about the Trinity. Yeah. I'm trying to refute the part that Jesus is part of the Trinity. Yeah. He's saying he's God. Then I, I said, he, these qualities that he is having, these attributes, are not for God. Now I'm asking, can God be born? God cannot be born. Can God die? God cannot die. When Jesus was in the cross, or did he die like a man or did he die like a God? Jesus gave his spirit. He gave up his spirit. You know, you know, you know. Did, did, when Jesus was dying on the cross, according to your faith, did he die as a man or as a God? He died as a man. Where was the God part? The God part, like, as I'm, I'm telling you that it's a triune God. Where? The God. I don't, I don't have a problem about the triune God part. I'm asking now, see, when Jesus Christ was dying, was he dying as a man or as a God? He was God dying died? as a man, simple. Then how can one man die for the sins of the whole world? Because That's, prophets, other prophets died. Prophets died before him. Let me so the you. topic part is not about dying. Let, us, let me continue. If, if you can give me a, a chance to, to, to explain had, to you. you, you God you. chose, you see, yeah. to do that through his son, Jesus Christ. To Hence, do what? To die for God, all of us. God died. He chose, God, God came can, in the form can, of a man. Can God die? I don't to know what God cannot die. All right, let us move. Can God be circumcised? Can God his... cannot be circumcised. How is Jesus called then? What, what, what makes Jesus to be called then? Because all these qualities, there is nothing so special that can make Jesus okay. to be called. How is Jesus, how God. can Jesus be called? No, you said Jesus is called. How, yeah. yeah. Yes, I want to answer, answer yeah. that question. You know, a virgin girl consists of the Holy Spirit. That is time. the God part. It's, 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 it's my time. I was trying to answer. How is Jesus God? Leave the vision. Because we can have say, no, it was a young woman according to Hebrew. It was said, uh, what not? Let, let's leave that part out. Let us talk about how is Jesus God? Let's say Jesus is God because this, 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 this. Because, because he was not born. Being born. Okay, because he was God born. Be born he, as we have said. He was, God cannot be born. Let us leave the born in part. I've asked you, remember, can God be born? You said no. Then Jesus, if you're talking about conceiving, you're coming back to the born part. Of which that cannot make him God because he's born. God cannot be born. How is Jesus God? It's because he was not given birth through the will of a man. He, the the woman conceived of the God. Holy Spirit. That That's makes him to be God? Yes. Is Adam God? He's not. Adam was not con conceived by a man or a woman. He was created by God without mother, without father. Jesus Christ said the mother. Is Adam, is Adam God? Adam was created after the likeness of God. But then God made a new covenant. God chose to save us through his Holy Spirit, through his son, Jesus Christ. I, Adam was not, everyone has a purpose. When, you, when, when we are you born... Have asked you have asked you a question. You have asked you a question. You said, how is Jesus called? You said Jesus Christ was born without any male intervention. Yes. So I'm saying, even Adam, no male intervention. I, 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 I even went further and said, no mother. Jesus Christ had a mother. He came, he was nine months, mother's womb. He was breastfeeding. He was young. You see, and yes. he put it changed. Just, the Bible says, and he grew. And he was loved by God and people. And God cannot change. He cannot be God. And if you're talking about his death, I'm saying there is one man there in the Bible who is not born of a woman or a man. There is no Jesus there. He says no mother, no father. So how is Jesus God? The, the burning part, it doesn't make much sense because God cannot be born. Yes, I agree with you. If, God cannot if, be if, born. If, if, if being born without a male intervention makes make Jesus to be God, then Adam means Adam is a greater God. 
No, because Adam must, Adam must, uh, according to you. No, I'm, 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 not according okay, to you, not according okay. to me. You are saying Jesus Christ is, is God because he was conceived by the Holy Spirit. Is yes. that written to be God? Yes. All right. Now I'm asking, can God be hungry? God cannot be hungry. We find Jesus Christ hungry. Because was of the mystical... God? When he was hungry, was he 100% God at that time? Or, or, or how was he? You said he was 100% man. You said he was 100% man. You said he was 100% God. Jesus. Yes. yes. When he walked on earth, you said Jesus Christ was God. Yes. When he was hungry, was he God at that time? He was... The, the, the man part of him was in, was active, the human part of him. Not the God part. Yeah. So the God part lived Jesus. No, it didn't. Where was that 100% God? Again, I tell you, Jesus is humbled. Jesus no, I'm not talking was, about being was, humble. Was, I'm talking about the hungry part, starvation. When he was hungry, where was the 100% Godly? Where was it? That God? It was there. He has order. It was there. God has order. So what was hungry? The man or <laughs> the man part of it? Um, it's for you at home, wherever you are, to decide uh, which which of which of these uh, two informations or which which of these ones makes sense to you.